The opening stage of the Vuelta a Burgos Femenina 2024 was an unpredictable race with an exciting and both dramatic finish. Covering 122.6 kilometers from Villa Gonzalo Perdanillas and finishing in the historic heart of Burgos, the stage featured a mix of flat sections, rolling terrain and three categorized climbs. The race began with a moderate pace as the peloton remained compact through the early kilometers. With the riders conserving energy for the first categorized climb, there were a few significant breakaway attempts initially. However, the action picked up as the race approached the first climb of the day, the Alto Coquilina. At around the 35 km mark, Katrin Alerud of Unox Mobility launched a solo attack, quickly gaining a significant gap on the peloton. Her strong riding saw her lead extend to over 3 minutes with the peloton content to let her stay out in front for the time being. Alarut's efforts earned her the first Queen of the Mountain points at the summit of the Alto di Coculina. The peloton remained relatively calm until the halfway point of the race when the teams began to organize for the chase. Movistar, SD Works and Kenyan Tram took turns at the front, gradually increasing the pace and reeling Alarut's advantage. The final categorized climb, the Alto de Aguilon, proved to be a decisive moment in the stage. Claire Steels made a bold move, breaking away from the peloton and gaining a small advantage. With, however, with the descent and the flat run in the finish, the peloton, driven by the sprinter teams, quickly closed the gap. As the race entered the final 10 kilometers, the peloton was strung out in a long line with, with Team SD Works Pro Time and Little Trek setting a blistering pace. Attacks continued to come from riders like Karina Schrempf and Demi Vollering, but none could establish a decisive gap. With less than a kilometer to go, the race was poised for a mass sprint. However, disaster struck when Elisa Balsamo crashed into the barriers at around 150 meters from the finish. Amidst the chaos, Lotta Hentala found herself perfectly positioned in the center of the road. Hentala seized the moment, launched a powerful sprint that saw her surge ahead of the scattered peloton. She crossed the line first, securing an unexpected but very welcome victory for EF Education Kennedale. 